just to find out that you got fear. Fear's all in the air. You look, you're not you're not willing and ready to take your punishment based on your crime. Not this time or no other time because you got something else on your mind. Listen, you 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 didn't understand the repercussion or the penalty behind what you were doing, even when you were told, don't do that. You know, and, and certain people you got to tell them something one, two, three, four, and five and six times, and yet they still go on the same way. And listen, they can't they're not even man enough or woman enough that even after in fact that they, that that they realize what is going on, look, they can't come back and say, uh uh, brother Zari, you know what, man, I you you know, I missed it on that. Or forget brother Zari, God, you know what, I'm so sorry, Lord. I messed up. Father, I messed up. I messed up. I'm so sorry. Now, not because you got caught, but saying sorry because you were godly sorry based on the sin against Jehovah. You're saying sorry now. You want to come to a place of repentance because you don't want to do the time for your crime. You're saying sorry now because you aren't willing to allow God's judgment to uh, to find you and you're not willing to live out that judgment. You're not willing to face that penalty. So that's the only reason why you're saying sorry because you got caught. See, if you had not got caught, you wouldn't have a sorry in you. And so you got to learn how to separate yourself from these people. Do not deny anyone justice in his lawsuit simply because he is poor. Keep away from what? Fraud. And do not cause the death of an innocent and righteous. For I will not justify the wicked. You are not to receive a bribe. For a bribe blinds, clear sighted, and subverts the cause of righteous. You are not to oppress a foreigner. For you know how a foreigner feels since you were a foreigner in the land of Egypt. You've been there. You've been broke. You've been taken advantage of. You've been manipulated. People have talked about you. People have thrown you through the mud. People said you weren't going to be this, that, and the other. And see, so you know it. You've been in bad relationships. You've been in good relationships. You've been up and down and all around. And so now, why would you allow yourself to do the same thing to somebody else? But if you can get it in your spirit to have grace and mercy, I tell you, God will have it for you. There is a time and a place of repentance. Sentence. God is not through with you. Listen, it ain't over. Look, you still got time before you strike that man or that woman. You still got time before you cause that person to go into sin. You still got time, O Shabbat, to say I'm sorry. I'm the Lady Osiah. God, if you forgive me, if you get me out of this, I'll never be found in this place again. You got time to wake up from them dreams and daydreaming, uh -huh, thinking that you're the one and the only one that's going to do something. Listen, you got time to stop acting like a fool. Listen, listen, you can listen to a new rule. Guess what? God is for God is for his people, O Shabbat. And let me tell you something. God ain't raising you up over nobody, O Shabbat. No two Simons is the same. See, you're going to get a little smarter, uh-huh. You're not going to allow yourself, O Shabbat, to be duped by the devil, making you think that you all that in a bag of chips. And you're not, listen, let me tell you something. You're nothing, O Shabbat. Listen, let me tell you something. You're nothing. All righteousness is like filthy rags in the eyesight of God. No, no, not one, O Shabbat. Listen, all all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. God is not going to do no more for you than the other person. Listen, God may give you this house, O Shabbat, but he's going to give Sally the other house. And he'll give Mike another house and Dave another house. But at the end of the day, all you all got is houses, O Shabbat. Let me tell you something. You ain't taking none of it with you, O Shabbat. I don't know why you think you got this so brilliant idea. Uh huh. There's nothing new under the sun, son, O Shabbat. Listen, whatever's been done today was done. 
done yesterday. I'm telling you, ain't no new thing. Oh, Shabbat. The only thing that's going on is new. Guess what? Is we're being moved closer and closer to, to, to redemption. Oh, Shabbat. We're, we're, we're moving closer to rapture ready and all that kind of stuff because right now, you know, sin is running rapid. I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like this where you got people, oh, Shabbat, that, no, that, that don't even, uh, they won't even open up the word of God, don't even understand God and want to try to explain God to you. I remember Oshaba, and you know I've been playing a little bit of those oldies, and I was talking to my brother, and you know he he began he was I just called him up. He, he said he uh, we were we have a little family uh, texting thing between my brothers and sisters and 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 some of my uh, relatives, cousins, and whatever have you. And my brother said he said, man, I can hear that song of Miss Gell ringing in my ear. And so I called him and I said, what song was that, man? He said, you know, it's been a good day a mighty good day you know i may not have done everything i wanted to do but the lord has been a mighty good day a good 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 day and so you know we were talking about it and it was something about the choirs and the songs of zion back then you know you didn't have tryouts and all that kind of stuff you didn't have people coming up there grading you how you sound and all that kind of foolishness you know even then back then they may have still been messed up because you know a lot of that stuff is all messed up anyway you didn't have all that performing let me tell you something when the choir would come in you know the choir would march in oh Shabbat, and that was when the order of service worship and worship had to come in and they had different steps oh Shabbat. now i'm you know i mean i'm not knocking what people are doing today but i'm just telling you what i'm talking about you know you didn't have all this stuff that you got now you didn't have guys doing break dances and splits you didn't have organists and and drummers and guitar people you you didn't have them coming in there and making outrageous salaries. Oh, Shabbat. Listen, you ain't. Listen, my mother sang on an album and had a solo, and I know she didn't get a penny from it. Listen, you got chumps. Oh, Shabbat. And that's right. That's what I called you. They look, they lead singers, and they come in the church. Oh, Shabbat. And, 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 you know, and they request a salary to sing unto the Lord. God help you. Oh, Shabbat. Listen, whatever you do, you better know that you're getting your reward now for that worship. Huh? Uh, you Listen, let me tell you something. You you ain't going to be singing in heaven with that with that clown. No, not with that clown. It, it, this is a time that people are all confused. And, and I know you, you look, I don't care if you cut me off or Shabbat and you, and you don't listen to me anymore, but shame on you under the Osiah. That what you do to God, you do unto God under the Osiah. And God will reward you richly here. Listen, let me tell you something. You, you, you got to look at the example with uh, 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 Cain and Abel, or Shabbat, having an Abel, or Shabbat. Listen, let me tell you something. If you, if you make a sacrifice and you do it right oh Shabbat you can lift your head up and God will receive it but if you make a sacrifice and it ain't right oh Shabbat God's not going to be pleased with it so I don't care how many keys you play and I don't care how many runs you do oh Shabbat I don't care what you do and what you say I'm telling you right now God is not pleased with it and so God is telling you tonight don't you do that oh Shabbat do not do it oh Shabbat Listen, let me tell you, stop trying to use and pimp the church, oh Shabbat, but use that for a place of worship. Allow it to be a place where you do your Shabbat, oh Shabbat. Allow it to be a place where you go into God's presence and you give his name, praise, honor, and glory. Allow it to, look, you want to be in relationship with me? Allow it to be a fellowship, O Shabbat, where we can build up the kingdom of Jehovah, that we can come together and connect, O Shabbat, and bring worship unto God. Don't want to allow it to be for your agenda. Don't call me your man, and don't call him, uh, don't call her your woman, O Shabbat. Uh, and, and listen, don't make up stuff under the Osiah, but allow God to do it under the Osiah. Allow God to be glorified. Allow souls to be drawn in under the Osiah. Let it be that kind of relationship uh, where there are two or more gathered in my name uh, there while I be in the midst uh, let it be one of those relationships uh, where you got the clappings of hands uh, and a yes Lord oh Shabbat let it be a relationship uh, uh, where you're clapping under the Osiah and you're connecting with the seraphims and cherubims uh, and you start off by saying uh, he's holy he's holy he's holy he's holy uh -huh. and then under the Osiah and after you've 
been the seraphims, you become the cherubims, oh Shabbat, and you begin to look at God, one that's beside each other, and you begin to talk to God, thou art holy, oh Shabbat, you're a holy God, the Nidhi Osiah, you're a holy and the Nidhi Osiah, holy is the Lord God Almighty, oh Shabbat, you're holy, you're holy, you're holy, you're holy, and that's what I'm talking about, I'm talking about and the Nidhi Osiah, do something different, but do not do it, oh Shabbat, do not do what they're telling you to do. Do not follow that thing, oh Shabbat, but allow that thing to be turned around huh? because you want God, oh Shabbat, to be pleased under the Osiah for what you're doing right now. I'm going to close, oh Shabbat. Now we were talking under Osiah. I was giving you a kind of a scenario, oh Shabbat, about Passover yesterday. And so I must close with this, oh Shabbat. I'm going to tell you about a story under the Osiah in the book of John. Help me, Holy Ghost. Lord, under the Osiah, quicken thy me in your word, oh Shabbat. Allow thy word to come forth under the Osiah. Holy Ghost, help your people tonight under the Osiah. This in this season, oh Shabbat, I know you like Easter, but let's talk about Passover, oh Shabbat, in the book of John, chapter 18. So Pilate went back into the headquarters and called Yeshua and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Oh Shabbat, question. And Yeshua answered, Are you asking me this on your own or have others? people told you about me question so he answered the question with a question and Pilate replied I am I a Jew oh so by question your own nation and the head disciples have handed you over to me what have you done and Yeshua answered my kingship does not derive its authority from this world, order or things it did. My men would have fought to keep me from being arrested by the Judeans, but my kingship does not come from here. So then, Pilate said to him, you are a king. After all, O Shabbat, and what I'm saying to you, I'm the Nidhi Osiah. I know they said you was a liar. I know they said, Zari O Shabbat, you're not the man of God. You're not an apostle. You're not a bishop. You're not a servant, O Shabbat. You're nothing but a run over a broadcast radio announcer. But blessed be unto God, under the Osiah. I, I heard under the Osiah. I, I, I've gotten to a place, O Shabbat, that I got before the king and my kingship of Shabbat and my position under the Neosiah doesn't uh, it doesn't rest here with you the humans the mortals of Shabbat but that which God does with me here comes from above of Shabbat see because of Shabbat I'm in a space called God under the Neosiah and I'm having a God experience that's what I'm talking about today and God under the Neosiah help me Holy Ghost of Shabbat God is exposing and expanding himself through me. I heard God say, Son of Shaboah, get up from that place under the Neosiah. Get up from that place of obscurity. Get up that place under the Neosiah of loneliness. Get up from that place under the Neosiah of misery. Get up from that place of depression, O Shabbat. Get up from that place of poverty, O Shabbat. Get up from that place of lack under the Neosiah. Get up from that place of hurt, O Shabbat. Get up from that place of disappointment, O Shabbat. Get up that place of, of insecurity on the Osiah. Get up, O Shabbat, because I call you a king, O Shabbat. I heard God say it, and God is moving over you right now. In my clothes, O Shabbat. I know God is doing, O Shabbat. Yeah, let's listen. And you are a king after 
after all. And Yeshua answered, you say, I am a king. This reason I have been born. The reason I have come into the world is to bear the witness to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to me, O Shabbat. And as Pilate asked him, what is the truth, O Shabbat? See, uh, some people, O Shabbat, um, they get inquisitive and they understand that there's something different about you. Well, why, O Shabbat? Why are you sitting over there quietly? Why are you so calm, O Shabbat? Around so much confusion, O Shabbat. It's like I was telling you I had two places to be at the same time. Ain't God good? Ain't he good? Ain't he good? Ain't he good, O Shabbat? God can do anything but fail, O Shabbat. But I heard God say, O Shabbat, tell him the truth, O Shabbat. See, there's